Well, in medical news, an improving surgical technique is changing the lives of thousands of breast cancer survivors. The procedure uses fat taken from other areas of a woman's body to restore not just the shape of the breast, but its natural texture as well. With two young children at home and facing a diagnosis of breast cancer, Reagan Hunt made a tough call. I uh, made a quick decision that I did not want the lumpectomy and I wanted a double mastectomy. Reagan's main concern was preventing the cancer from recurring, but she was also encouraged by the surgical plan for her breast reconstruction. Lascato surgeon Dr. Lawrence Berkowitz told her about an emerging technique that could significantly improve her outcome. He kept reassuring me that there were new technologies in place that he utilized that he would be able to um, make my result not only aesthetically pleasing but also help to regenerate some of the feeling in my chest area that was lost during the initial surgery. And that's where fat grafting comes in. And that has been, that's been a huge change for us, a game changer as we say. We watched as Dr. Berkowitz performed the fat transfer procedure on another patient. After a mastectomy, surgeons first place traditional silicon implants under the muscle tissue in the chest. But while the implants offer shape, they don't compensate for the lost breast tissue. Taking fat from another part of the woman's body and injecting it under the skin renders it softer, more attractive. Blood vessels grow into it. Nerves grow through it. That fat is typically harvested from the stomach area, then processed into a specially designed syringe that allows for precise placement. This is 60, 60. and it's a, it's a brilliant concept because it allows us to deliver the fat in very just tiny droplets of fat, as opposed to big lakes of fat, which are going to get absorbed. He says what's new is these smaller, precise injections help the grafts to take hold and remain in place, allowing a surgeon to model the shape of the breast. And now I'm injecting deep into the muscle layer to get, because the muscle will hold the fat well. When the procedure is finished, he says cancer patients often return to a shape that's nearly identical to their pre-surgery form. What we're able to offer them now is often a nipple sparing procedure done through a, an incision that's hidden in the inframammary fold. The breast can be replaced with a combination of an implant and fat grafting that heretofore has been unachievable with any other methods. The health is the most important thing, but it is nice to be able to wear a swimsuit and to you know, function so that strangers or people who don't know what I've been through also would never be able to guess. And Dr. Berkowitz says the measured grafting technique also allows for a quicker recovery time, typically about 10 days. Well, that's remarkable.